one, I'm starting again. <laughs> I thought I could kind of like start over with the white paint. It didn't really work out how I thought it would. So that's just the nature of art sometimes. So I'm not happy with it and I couldn't possibly sell anything that I didn't love. So her actual body, like I'm really happy with, I think that turned out really well, but it's just not a hundred percent. Starting this piece again, I have made a few changes. I am not going to use charcoal, I'm just going to keep it really light and try and have a really light hand with all of my shading and all of my values. I just think this portrait deserves something a little bit lighter. The reference photo is kind of blurry and it's almost dreamlike. This artwork is a commission for a lady named Sarah. <laughs> hey Sarah. Uh, she's getting this piece done for her husband who took this photo. He's an amazing photographer. I have tagged his Instagram handle below so you can check out his work. But um, I took on this piece because I love the story and I actually really liked the photo. So um, when I did my first attempt, I feel like I almost went a little bit too dark with all the values. So for this piece, I'm not going to use any charcoal. I'm just going to use graphite. I've also tried to keep the shading and the texture of the graphite within the artwork because I think that's kind of interesting and the last portrait was maybe a little bit too smooth. I have also decided to keep the background in and this is something that I think really paid off in the end and really grounds her and puts her in a room whereas the last artwork was a little bit, she was kind of like floating. It definitely was really hard to start again because I have spent so long uh, on the last artwork and I feel like I maybe could have saved it but it was just getting to a point where I was really overworking it and um, <laughs> yeah. This version of the artwork is 100 times better. You have to stay and watch until the end. Um, I would not be posting this video if I didn't like the second attempt because that would just be embarrassing. <laughs>
to show Angus this commission that I did. Angus is my art mentor and I also work for him three days a week. So it'll be interesting for you guys to hear exactly what he thinks in his words. Uh, I really, really rate his opinion. He's always super honest, doesn't sugarcoat anything, which I really appreciate. And it's the only way to get better. So um, yeah, this is what he has to say. So like without this, it's just something floating in space. So what you've done is you've put this in here. So this is obviously something much further back. She, you can tell she's in some sort of room and she's in the foreground. So that's really clever. Without that, it's not the same. The thing about the tattoo that's really helpful is it creates form. Oh, yeah. Because what it's a bit distorted. It's because it's running over the shape of her body, the contour of her body. Yeah, okay. So it actually describes her body. I think you did a great job with that part of the arm. Okay. Because you, you lost the edge. Yeah. The no edge. Yeah. That's really, really good. I think the hand and the hand in here is really, really good. This is great mm -hmm. as well. That you can feel that you can feel that she's that's sitting on her. You see how like you can barely see that edge. Yeah. That's so good. Like that's the thing that I really like to do with my drawings because you don't need that edge to describe the hand. Yeah. Like your someone's eye will create the edge. Yeah. You could almost, I mean, it's fine the way it is, but you know, you could have actually lost that completely. Okay. And it would have been fine. Yeah, okay.